What is it, baby? You can do it, Ava. Oh, my God. Oh, too much. Oh my god. I don't think that's it. Can't do that, actually. Just not all the way in. Uh, one eighth? One and one eighth. So, I'm gonna just go with this.
Peach is here. Is it pink? Well, that looks like pink. It looked like a white sock that got mixed in with like a red shirt. <laughs> You're funny, babe. Definitely not as pink as I was hoping, but that's fine. I you can put it in the washer and put some red clothes in there. Three more to go. simple pork ribs recipe. Four ingredients, black pepper, salt, pork ribs, and Thai sweet chili sauce. And that's it. You do need to start the recipe a couple hours in advance. I think it takes four hours to bake at 275. So it's like a really slow, slow roasting of the ribs. So it falls off the bone by the time four hours is up. So I'm starting around two. Ribs are ready for the oven. Please don't judge this oven. I inherited it from many, many tenants and I haven't had time to clean it. I'm not even sure where to start to clean it. So don't judge me because this is not an oven that I dirtied, okay? I hit you? Oh, I hit the panda. Sorry, panda. It's okay. Mm. Pull, pull. Pull, pull, pull. Pull.
so fall off the bone it doesn't even want to. share my um I guess sort of an unboxing with you guys this one's already been um, well you can't even see it but this one is already unboxed and I've used it already it's called the Bruno hot plate I first saw this on Vix vlog and um, I thought it was super cute so I got it so it comes with a it actually comes with two hot plates but um this is the lid with a gold knob it comes with a um, six circle griddle thing, and it also comes with a flat one. Um, I also bought an additional, um, um, you can use it for a hot pot, and that's what I've used already, and it's white. Um, I'll take a picture of it at some point. And uh, it's really pretty, but my one gripe about it is that, um, well, two gripes actually, is that it is pretty small. It's probably about the size of a sheet of paper, um, it's pretty small, so it's really only good for one or two people, maybe. So for a family of three, like ourselves, it's really not that practical. Um, uh, as for the hot pot part, when you do use it for hot potting, um, the electricity turns off after a while, so um, it doesn't get really hot enough, uh, if you ask me, um, for hot potting. Like, it does the job, but then it turns off um, at a at a high temperature so it's never like a roaring boil which is what you kind of want sometimes for hot potting um, but it's it works so that's fine it's really more for aesthetics than anything else i bought this on taobao and i liked it because truthfully it's white and it's pink inside so i thought that was really pretty moving on to the main event which is all my fica pots and pans the company that makes these pots and pans is called neoflam and actually fica is I, I believe the name of the collection um these are not sold in the u.s um they have neoflam but the ones that are sold in the u.s are kind of ugly they have a more rounded um wooden shape for the knobs and everything and it's just not as chic as the korean version so i found an online retailer called harumio which um sold these um i'm sure for a premium uh i did get them because i i just really wanted them for the longest time every time i see korean vloggers cook i think it's just so pretty again aesthetics um so let me unbox some of these actually i've already opened them to make sure that they're not broken um the first one is this stock pot a little story about this so in most of the pictures online i see there is a pasta um what do you call it a strainer a pasta strainer that goes with this so i thought when i bought this pot that there was going to be a pasta strainer but there isn't apparently the pasta strainer is sold separately so warning to those who are buying this pot and wanting it for the strainer which i did um it doesn't come with it unless you buy specifically with the strainer fyi so this glass it's pretty good there is like a uh, what do you call it like um silicone suction over here that creates the seal so that's pretty nice oh one more thing about the pot it's not that big you know all the pots and pans that come from asia i have to say they're pretty small pot number two is this smaller i don't know what you want to call it it's not really for stock because it's really tiny it's the last of the pots this is like like a good saucepan this is a good size i have pots like this size so this is good this is useful i don't know the sizing of all these pans all i know is that this is i think they call this their wok pan because it's very deep so it's much deeper than a regular um skillet i would say last but not least is the regular sort of skillet I'd say the sides are a little bit higher than my other skillets, so it's a little bit deeper. This is the skillet that I see a lot of vloggers use, and I think this is probably their most popular one because I really do see a lot of vloggers use this. And they always make these really nice, like, um, 
like tteokbokki and then they like have melted cheese and stuff and it always looks so yummy so I'm very easily um, swayed to buy things as you can see and now I'm trying to sway you to buy things ha <laughs> It's raining so, so hard.